Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So with 8th edition coming to an end, I thought it would be fun to look through some of Fantasy's magic items from the big rulebook. I leave my rulebook in the back room and I'm constantly flicking through it and what I always stop at is the magic item section. It's my favourite section of the book, seeing what magic items and weapons lords and heroes can take in the fantasy world. The names of the weapons and the effect they have in battle is always fun to read about. So I made a quick video listing my 5 favourite magic items and I've just about found models that represent them items. These items mightn't be the best to take in battle, but they're the ones I like reading about, thinking of conversion ideas and some might just be cool. So with, with that, let's have a quick look. So coming in at number 5, we have the Ogre Blade. It's a 40 point magic weapon. The Ogre Blade does exactly what its name implies. It gives your character plus 2 strength and it gets to hold a big ass blade. So if you're wanting to have your model to look intimidating and have the stats to back it up, then this is the item for your character. So coming in at number 4, we have the Scarecrow Banner. It's a 5 point magic banner. It may be the lowest pointed banner, but it's definitely one of the coolest. <coughs> Fluff wise that is. The Scarecrow Banner causes fear to models with a fly special rule. It's very situational because flying creatures cause fear itself, so it cancels out. But if you make the banner for a unit, it tells a story. Like a unit of men searching for a flying creature to attack their village. They're great for diorama ideas, so make sure to keep it fluffy. Number 3, we have the Ruby Ring of Rune. It's a 25 point enchanted item. So you're at the end of your magic phase. You have no spells left to cast, but still have some power dice left. Your hero steps forward, pulls out his ruby ring of rune, and boom, starts casting out fireball spells. Frodo Baggins wish he had this ring. It's an awesome item. Number 2, we have the Fencer Blades. Magic weapon for 35 points. Now this is a great choice. It has good rules at a decent price. It makes your character weapon skill 10. Making even the worst fighters into a weapons master. As for modeling choices, dual hand weapons never go out of style. And finally, coming in at number 1, we have the Arabian Carpet. It's an enchanted item for 50 points. Why? Simple, it gives your character the fly special rule. Now I know in game it can have its disadvantages, but imagine a wizard with a lower fire flying around the battlefield on his Arabian Carpet shooting fireballs in any direction. But the model and possibilities is what I love. The tree I always think of is you can model the Arabian carpet itself, which is cool, or you can convert a model with wings. A model with wings always looks good. Or finally, the Superman stance, which it floats in mid-air in a flying position. It's a harder conversion than the other two, but it could look great. Arabian carpet, you are my favourite magic item. So that's it, that's my 5 favourite magic items. It was a very quick video but I enjoyed making it and looking at some of the stuff. Make sure to leave in the comment section below what magic items you like or any items you think I should have added in. But this is just purely uh, my opinion. They are like fun items to read, nothing too gamey or anything. So make sure you leave your uh, 5 favourite in the comment section. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.